An aerial view shows the area where the Lucky Peak fire burned 150 acres near the Spring Shores Marina. Uh, fortunately, we were able to get the right firefighting resources um, in time to get this fire under control. Firefighters continued their work to contain this fire, mainly making sure it didn't spark back up because of the wind and the hot afternoon sun in this rugged Idaho terrain. It's August and August is uh, generally the peak of fire season. The Idaho Air National Guard took fire managers and Governor Brad Little up in the air to survey the damage. This is a good example. It burned a power line up and these fires may look like they uh, just burnt a little bit of feed, but they can be very disruptive. People need to be careful. The down power line forced Spring Shores Marina to shut down, while Idaho Power worked to restore power to the area. Firefighters closed the road to the marina, and boaters were forced to wait for hours. You know, you can't, can't think of worse timing than the weekend that you finally take a couple days off that uh, the, the road closes. The Forest Service is looking into the cause of the fire. All three fires are under investigation. Um, we have ruled out lightning as a cause. They are all highly suspicious. As Eric Pike waited to start his vacation, he told us he wishes people would be more careful when it comes to wildfire in Idaho. From what they could tell, it, it, it was human cause, which you know, really makes it a darn shame that we keep doing this stuff and starting these fires around here. Steve Dent, six on your side.